So in this problem, we're told how much energy is imparted to an electron as it flows through a 12 volt battery from the positive to the negative terminal. And we're gonna be expressing our answer in atto joules. So uh, the first thing you always wanna do in solving any problem is write down the given. So uh, what are we given in this problem? We're given the voltage of the battery. So we write the voltage equals 12 volts. And so another thing we're going to need to solve this problem is um, the charge of the electron. So you need to know the charge of an electron is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. That's just a number you're going to have to memorize. And so we're going to be solving for the energy. And so when looking at this problem, the thing that I recognize is that we're given voltage, we're given charge. And so how can I relate that to energy? And there's a formula you're going to need to know, which is right here. The energy is equal to the charge times the voltage. So Essentially, all we're going to have to do is plug in the charge, Q, and plug in the voltage, V, and that's going to give us our energy. We're going to have to per, uh, perform a unit conversion to get it into atto joules. But yeah, so you're going to plug in your charge of the electron times the voltage, and you're going to get, uh, in this case, 1.9224 times 10 to the minus 18 uh, joules. And so in order to convert it into atto joules, you need to know that one joule is equal to 10 to the 18 atto joules. We just represent that by a j. Um, yeah, so in order to prov uh, perform this conversion, you're just going to multiply times uh, 10 times, or sorry, you're going to multiply by 10 to the 18. So uh, take this value, multiply it by 10 to the 18, and you're going to get your answer. So in this case, it's 1.9224, and then our answer is now in atto joules. So AJ. But yeah, you can round however you want or however your teacher wants you to. But essentially, you just need to know this equation right here in order to solve this problem and then a basic conversion. But yeah, hopefully you found this useful.